Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about uh, how to animate in GNU plot. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss how to animate a function in GNU plot. Now in my previous lecture, I have uh, used how to install GNU plot and how to set the term to be x11 and other other terminal type of type in GNU plot. So in this lecture is basically uh, for animating a animating from a, animating a function in GNU plot. So in 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 our tenth or twelfth class, we have read about the traveling waves. So we don't know how the traveling waves travels in a medium. So today I have decided to uh, do the anim animation of the traveling wave. So uh, as you know that anim uh, traveling wave is basically sine or cosine function. So here I will be using a cosine function uh, to animate. So now to do that, first I have to do I have to reset the uh, reset the GNU plot. Because uh, if you have GNU plot opened in your terminal and you have set uh, let's say set multi you have set the terminal to be set multi plot set PNG uh, set output something like that so that will affect the your affect your script so that's why it's very necessary to write reset in every uh, GNU plot script at the beginning of the uh, GNU plot script so you just write uh, set uh, reset and then uh, you, ha you have to write set term x11 because you want to visualize the thing so x11 is a better for visualization so uh, in my in my previous lecture i have described how to install gnuplot x11 so you can go through that lecture if you haven't then uh, then i am uh, setting the title to be set uh, title bold this command uh, slash uh, colon and bold this command will make your title to be bold so traveling cosine wave will uh, be bold in uh, in my animation then i am use, i am setting my x level to be bold x and then my i am setting y level to be bold x bold uh, cosine of x now n n is the iteration number so how many iteration do you need so let's say i am i uh, i need 100 iteration and let's say uh, let's say uh, i want to increase my x by the interval to pi by n so n is 100 so i am i will be increasing my uh, x by that amount dx so dx is this thing so i am setting uh, x range from 0 to 4 pi so uh, why 4 pi so as you know cosine function uh, uh, as you know it is a cosine function so i will be using in units of pi so pi is already defined a parameter in gnu plot so the uh, so you just have to write pi to denote pi and then you have to set y range to be minus one and plus one because why minus one to plus one because uh, as we know that cosine function he has a maximum value of one and minimum value of minus one that's why i am setting uh, and every other values are in between so that's why i am setting the y range to be minus one to plus one then the final command is basically the do loop so do loop in gnu plot you have, if you want to use do loop you have to write do for i is equal to 0 to n so 0 is the 0 iteration to n in a iteration so it will be i will vary from 0 i is equal to 0 to i is equal to n n is i have already set to be 100 so like this and this will be under third bracket always and then you have to uh, open a second bracket and you have to try the command that plus plot x cos of x plus i into dx so i is the iteration number here is i so loop index i to i star dx with l line with 2 and line color 8 and t is the title so uh, the title uh, is the is in between the plot uh, and then that title will be uh, traveling wave and this title will be on the header and this title will be inside the plot and then i am closing the bracket second bracket so this is the whole do loop in gnu plot now uh, why i am using a read command because after the nth iteration because uh, after n is equal to 100 this loop will be closed and then it will uh, the animation will be stopped so if you uh, want to want your animation to do it again so you have to write read it so read it command will read the uh, read the script again and it will again animate the anime again animate uh, and iterate the loop so that's why I'm using the read command and here cos of i star uh, cos of x plus i star dx. So on the very first iteration i is equal to 0 so it will be on just cos x so it will just plot a cos x in this range. Uh, and then for i is equal to 1 it will be plotting cos x plus dx so dx is basically this thing in this range. And then again it will do uh, iteratively like cos uh, from i is equal to 0 to i is equal to n. 
so how it will do so that I have to check now save this uh, script and then you just have to uh, open your terminal and then you have to uh, write you have to open the GNU plot so uh, uh, as you know that I have already discussed uh, about how to write a GNU plot script in GNU in uh, in editor so if you haven't seen that video please uh, watch that video to how to write a script then uh, watch this video then that will be helpful for you then just uh, in the, uh, after opening the GNU plot terminal you just have to load the file so load wave.gnu and then just uh, you, uh, the animation will be created so as you can see the wave is traveling along the left side so here uh, the traveling cosine wave here the traveling wave and then here i have set the y level to be cos x and x level to be x so this is how the anima a simple animation is created in gnu plot so this is basically the animating a fu function in gnu plot in my later lecture i will be discussing about uh, how to animate uh, from a file in gnu plot so that will be very helpful for you because uh, in many times uh, you will be needing to animate things like uh, I think spin configuration configuration or let's say projectile motion uh, projectile motion configuration so one good thing to uh, good thing is that I have already uh, uploaded a video on projectile motion and how to animate that thing I have already mentioned there so you can watch that video so and also you will be needing anima animation for uh, the so for to see the growth of a bacterial colony and also to see the trajectory of some particle or something like that so this is uh, these are the things uh, you want to you have to know to animate uh, from a file in GNU plot so th in my next lecture I am going to discuss about animating from a file in GNU plot so stay tuned uh, and also if you like this video please uh, share it and also subscribe to my channel uh, so that I can so because that's the motivation <laughs> for making the video so thank you for watching my video and thank you for subscribing to my channel